Okay, let's get started. Here we are. We have got Yorkai Watch 2. This is one of the three versions called Honke. The other ones are called Ganso and Shinuchi, which was released later on following one of the Yorkai Watch movies, I believe. But anyway, this is going to be the first time I've played Yorkai Watch since its predecessor, which I found to be a very, very enjoyable game. And I'm going to really, really sink my teeth into this one. Alright, so we've got a few options at the title screen here. None of it's going to be... Yep, none of it's what I want except for this one to start. So let's start up a new adventure. Whoa! So much information on the screen. <laughs> Okay, it's telling us about our different save data versions following the update of 2.0. So we have to be careful about a whole bunch of stuff, which I'm sure I'm fine about. Yep, not a problem. This might have been a problem ages ago, but since it's been out for so long, not going to be a problem. Alright, so... Now we choose if we want to be the male or the female character. I'll be the male, of course. Alright, time to put in our name, and of course we're going to go with the good old staple. There he is. Gravy has returned for another adventure. In, in Sakurai Newtown. So this is going to be really, really interesting. Okay, this work is a fictional piece. If it resembles any peeps, places, groups, it's just a coincidence. Oh yeah, and it's talking about the internal clock system. SD card saving data and stuff. This is the Yokai Watch. It's the tool that links the humans to the Yokai. I think it's something that they don't want in their world. <gasps> They've taken it away. That's probably a good little reason to tell us why we're going to have to go back to the E-Rank watch. <laughs> it's all about continuity. You upgrade your Yorkai watch in the previous game and you do it in this one too. Oh no. So I guess this is the first chapter saying the, the disappearance of his Yorkai watch. Gravy, it's time to wake up. Um, you shouldn't sleep in, it's your s summer holidays. Ah, Mum, I just want to sleep five more minutes. No, that's not allowed. Um, you promised to come together with us all to go shopping. Quickly, you have to get up and get ready. Uh, but I'm still tired. I love the little bit of drool that's on the corner of his mouth. And we're prompted with some more tutorials that 
I'm well aware of how to run. Stamina gauge. We have to talk to mum. Alright, good. They'll be releasing it piecemeal, it looks like. Don't know if there's anything new to interact with in my room. It looks pretty basic and uninteractable. I don't have my little yokai encyclopedia in my room though. Ah, you've finally woken up. Good morning, Gravy. Good morning. Ah, that's right, Gravy. Have you made sure to keep up on keeping your summer diary log? <gasps> I forgot! Hey, you should be doing it properly. If you don't write a daily entry... You'll... I don't understand that. Oh, maybe he's maybe he has to do it for school or something. He'll get in trouble for not doing it. I'm not 100% sure. Yes, mum. Oh yeah, that's a nice segue to <laughs> to your diary. This is how you save. Yep. All right. I like that. Okay, so dad's waiting outside. Why don't you go ahead? Make sure to... I'll, I'll come behind you and close the door. The next mission, go outside and talk to Dad. I can interact with this. Oh, I'm actively pushing that lid. I was wondering if... I'm wondering what was happening. I didn't think I could go outside in the last game. Oh, well, I don't have a yokai watch, so that's not going to be very interesting. Oh, you can actually wash your hands and brush your teeth if you want. Okay, I think this is just teaching kids to do the right thing. <laughs> Wash your hands and brush your teeth. We're not getting any sick experience points bonus for our efforts. Oh, we can even just open the lid. <gasps> awesome. I don't think you could do that in the last game. It's been too long. Hey, Dad. Ah, oh, gravy, you've come. Well then, let's go. Oh, that was simple. Straight to the point. Right, here we go. Let's go. Um, make sure to drive safely, Dad. And the new adventure to the local mall beginneth. What crazy things might happen? We might get assailed by the consumption tax. Yokai. What would they call him? Anyway, here we are. Mum's going to Mokko's Mart. I forget what's in Mokko's Mart. <laughs> Dad. Hey, you've spent all my freaking yen. Ah, now we're talking. There's got to be a twist. There's got to be a twist. Hey, husband. Before we go home, can we go and get some manju? Which is like these little... What would you call them? Dumplings. All ah, right, we'll go to the nearby manju shop called Dokuro. 
Dokuro. Oh, that little... I think there's a little sign out there that said Gunsaw, which is the name of the other installment of Yoko Watch 2. Interesting. Which kind of means founder. Huh? There's two manju shops? Oh, I see. Gunsaw and Honke. That's the name of these different versions. Um... Which are we going to go to? I'm definitely going to Gunsaw. Let's go. What? No, we should go to Honke. Let's go. Fight, fight, fight. Hey, hey. Um, Dokuro Shops Manju is definitely Gunsaw. It's been decided. I mean, isn't it? No, 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 it's Honke. What are you talking about? It's definitely Gunsaw because it's got awesome ingredients and tastes really lovely. I think she's saying the the red bean paste within the manju of the honke shop is a bit more smooth and nice and I think it's better what are you talking about it's gunsaw gunsaw is the best what is this it's honke honke is the best okay they've obviously been inspirited by a yokai here something that's making them angry Unless Gravy's family just really sucks. This Fire Emblem fates. Alright, maybe we should get Gravy to decide which one where we should chop at. Yeah, fine with me. Um, what? You think I should be the one to decide? Right, Gravy, I'll give you the money. And with this, go and buy the dumplings. Thousand yuan. Right, I understand. Gravy, of course, you're going to buy at Gunsaw, aren't you? No, Gravy's going to, of course, go to Honke. Alright, so we have to buy at one of them. I really don't understand why they're giving me a choice. I'm playing Honke, so I should be buying at Honke, right? Let's try and break the system by buying at Gunsaw. Welcome. This is the Gunsaw Dokuro shop. Manju. I'm going to look up what this Dokuro is. That might be a type of Manju flavor or something. It means skull. Okay, skull. <laughs> the Gunto Skull Shop Manju, alright. So you can get a set of eight for 900 yen. Will you buy it? Yes. I have a feeling this is going to have very important repercussions Gravy you, you've gone ahead and bought it from Gunso haven't you hello helpful hero oh I can't no way the honke the honke skull shops to the right <laughs> what's that's literally not letting me buy it try again
All right, it's very peculiar that they'd actually give me an option. <laughs> I don't understand. Maybe it'll become clear. All right, to the honker. Welcome to the honker skull shop for your dumplings. How would you? How do you feel about getting some dumplings? You can get eight for nine hundred yen. Thank you very much. Please come again. All right, we got the honker dumpling. All right, bring it to mum. <laughs> Rip Father Kingdom. Sorry to keep you waiting, I've bought the dumpling. Should I call them dumpling or steam buns? One of the two. All right, so there's they're arguing about, they're bickering about the smallest things here. Hey, hey, I've bought the the buns. You've handed over the dumplings. Or the manju. I'll just call them manju. Stick with the Japanese. In any language, they're dish delicious. Thank you. All right, so we're really close to home. So why don't we go ahead? I've got I've got something important to tell you. Uh, okay. This is shaping up to be a weird day. <laughs> Bunlings. So what in the hell, what in the heck was going on between mum and pa? It's, it's, it's really weird that they'd be fighting over such a small matter involving things like manju. Um, hey, says Kuma. Gravy, says Kenji. Kanji. Kuma, Kanji. Um, what are you two guys doing together here? Hehehe, <laughs> Gravy. Um, we found something cool. Didn't we, Kanji? Okay, yeah. Let's go. Let's, t I think he's saying let's say it together. On the, on the count of three, are all together now. This it's a mega watch. Whoa, that's the thing that's like really popular right now, and both of you have gone out and got one. Yes, we made a reservation for it, and they finally come. And it's been three months that we had to wait for this. And I think he's explaining that thanks to the protective barrier above the liquid crystal display or something like that, it'll protect from massive shocks and you're able to dive deep and it'll be all good. And on top of that, there's a camera and there's GPS function. Altogether, there's 108 functions. Damn. The kid's getting this money. Sugoi, amazing. Um, I really, really want something like that for myself. Ah, speaking of which, where did I put, where's my watch? Ah, Kuma, it's probably time that we, oh, we have to go. We have, oh, we're going to be late to our meeting, our meetup. up. 
Yes, we have to go, don't we? Fumi, Fumi-chan is waiting for us. Ah, you're going to be meeting up with Fumi. Ah, yes, we're going to the Triangle Park. And we we thought we'd get together and catch some bugs. Ah, oh, sounds good. Um, is it alright if I go? Oh, but I... But I might need to get my bug net, or I don't have my bug net on me right now. Alright, go get your bug net, and then come. We'll just go on ahead. Right then, we'll be waiting for you, Gravy. Sweet good end. I think it's a little bit different. I really have to start playing that game, though. Alright. Bye bye. We'll see you later. And this is our handy dandy new map. It looks almost similar, but it looks like we've got a cool zoom fe feature, which is very welcome. And it'll tell us that that's where our goal is on the map, where to go to. Okay. Oh, and I'm missing my bike. I wonder how long until I get my bike. Okay, let's have a play with this map. Oh, I love that I can... I can actually touch the map and he'll walk. I forget if that was in the other game, I don't think so. Or maybe it was, because I never, never really used my stylus on it. Oh, and you can get rid of all those miscellaneous information, so that's nice. What's the hand do? Oh yeah. Looks like all the old areas are returning here. Nothing new, but I looked in the wiki, I think there's one or two new locations. Oh well, for the meantime we need to get to our house. At least there's names now, yeah, it's really nice. Hey Mighty Rathless, how you going man? I wonder if I've still got a hundred dollars in, I mean, hundred. Alan, thanks for that follow. I wonder if I've still got a hundred yen change from my little expedition before. I do. <laughs> but wouldn't you know it, the cheapest item is more than what I have. Okay, very nice. we got to make sure to obey the road rules too, lest we get attacked by those Oni. Um, we're almost there. Oh, you can actually climb up on... That's cool and new. How do I get down? Oh, there was a little brick to step up on. Oh, I like that. I have to keep my eye out for... Oh, Kogath! <laughs> G'day Kogath. Thank you very much for that sniping little subscri subscription there. Thank you indeed. Send some Doki Dokis his way. I know I will. How you doing, man? Didn't know you'd be interested in this sort of game. I never obey the road rules. Yeah, it's it's hard. Sometimes you get little shinies. Maybe every six or seven times you cross the road properly. But it's hard to do it in succession. You always get fed up and just um, <laughs> cross the road. Okay, so... He's put his bug net somewhere. He needs to find it. You love your coach? Oh, I had no idea. Oh well, enjoy. This is going to be a a nice slow-paced play of the second one. And we'll try to um get as much information and translations out as we go. Okay, well, my bug net. I probably should have read a bit more about what I 
what he said as he entered. It's got to be around here somewhere. Oh, that's one thing I wanted to check if the um, camera could be turned a little bit more. It looks like it's the same degree of movement, which I kind of didn't like. There it is. Yeah, that's right. It was outside. Next up, we got to go to Triangle Park. Meet up with our buds. When you streamed your first PS4, you didn't use the build, the built-in function. No, I didn't. Because I think it was too difficult to um, work out how to manage my alerts at the same time. Or something like that. Okay, here we go. There's Fumi-chan. Ah, Gravy-kun. How are you? Good day. Ah, Fumi. Right, Gravy has come. So from now it's... Let's have a, let's have a competition who can catch the most bugs. Okay, I, I got a little bit excessive there. He just said, let's have a bug catching competition. Kanchi said, what's the rules? Ah, so the one to catch the rarest bug is going to be the winner. Sounds good. Right then. Um, we'll come back later and meet up. And we'll show each other, we'll compare the bugs that we've caught. Alright everyone, once you've caught about three insects, come back. problem that I see is every now and then I get the secret scene message when I play. I don't know if that affects the streaming as well. Oh, you, oh you're playing around with that. Yeah, unfortunately I don't have much knowledge about it. Right then, Gravy, I'll give this to you. Ah, nice. So it's given us the little bug food, three of them. If you use this, it's going to make it easier to catch the insects. Thank you. Right then. The bug catching competition has begun. <laughs> right. I'll definitely catch myself a very rare bug. Where should I look? Speaking of which, when I used to look for bugs before, I think he's referring to he used to use his yokai watch, but he he has lost it. So he's going, oh no, it'll be fine. He's going to do it old school. So approach trees and grass and things like that. And should the magnifying glass icon appear, um, Check it, check it out to see if there's some rare bugs. Understood. Oh, that's interesting. They never spelt it out with an excl exclamation mark so clearly. I mean, they didn't have it there at all in the previous game. I wonder if it's just for this period where we don't have the watch or something. Okay, where are the bugs, I wonder? Ah, there's some. Alright, looks to be a very similar system. So you just need to put your lens over the bug. Hopefully the little spinning mini game is not as frustrating. I would love for it to stop exactly where you pressed it, but it it doesn't do it, it's kind of a little bit random. So I put my yeah. I did not, it did not stop exactly where I pressed it, so, you know, it can go anywhere from about two or three spaces to the right or left of it. And it's kind of random the way it does it. Which sucks. Oh, 
I wish it was just purely skill based, not RNG based. Oh, we've got some Abura. Abura Zemi. You see, that time it stopped exactly where I pressed it. Alright, we've got an Abura Zemi, which is like an oil cicada. Oily cicada. Have a look in the grass. Usually there's praying mantises and grasshoppers, but maybe not until later. Definitely got some ladybugs. Ah, but I need to find a rare one. If they've got a little orange thing, that means it should be rare. Perhaps I should have a more extensive look around the place unless they're going to limit it how far we can go from the park I can always use the I can always use the bug food to extend it out I don't know if there's gonna be a lot of grass yeah I have a feeling you can only really search in the surrounds of that other area look at me obeying the road rules yeah, if there's no exclamation points here. Yeah, nothing there. Hmm. I wonder if that's a thing. If it doesn't have an exclamation point, it means that there's nothing... Oh, there is! Alright. Might use some food. Mm, that was pretty close to where I pressed it. Oh, it's nice to have a butterfly. I'm sure that's going to score me some good points. And I guess we'll just go back to the park area again. Oh, what are these ones? I don't think this was in the other game. <laughs> you see, it was like two or three space. Oh, <laughs> sometimes that happens too. All right, we got a Kanabun. I was only supposed to catch three. I wonder if I'll get in trouble. Town music reminds me of Mickey Mouse Club. Yeah, it does. Oh, it automatically put me here after the three. Yeah, I wonder what the Kanabu means in English. Can't find it. Okay, so the the most rare bug that you can catch is the Kabuto Mushi. Which is your rhinoceros beetle, I believe. Oh, did Kuma get it? He's the one that got it. Great, I'm the winner. It's just as you think, the Kabuto Bushi is the king of all bugs. Man, how did he manage that? How did he manage that, lucky bastard? <laughs> Wow, well done, Kuma. Heh heh. Um, when it comes to catching bugs, I've got a knack for it. So, the bugs that you can catch will change depending on the place and the time that you look for them. And when you want to know the, the insect data, I recommend this application. Okay, this is the, the field guide to the living things. Yeah, absolutely rigged, isn't it? <laughs> I know how hard it is to find those, so yeah, oh, we had no chance.
Ah, Kum is thirsty. Mm, yes, as the you know, on this type of day, it'd be really nice to have something cool to drink. Where's the field guide to dead things? In the crematorium, maybe. Right then, we'll we'll finish up our bug catching right here. Let's go to the convenience store and buy some ice cream. Nice. Oh, I like ice cream. Oh god, Kuma's going at it. Ah, got a brain freeze. Ah, looks like you've gone ahead and eaten that ice cream in, in just one big go. You should have eaten it more slowly. Ah, but it was delicious. Right, it's definitely the summer of ice cream. Ice cream summer. <laughs> Yeah, it's not fair. They had the 108 function watch. Ah, oh, is that the time already? I have to get home. I have to help mum with the dinner. Right, I think it's... What's that? He has to go as well. Better get home, and I'd like to get home and test out some of the, the functions of this watch. Right, okay. Catch you later, everyone. Right, bye-bye. Sayonara. Huh? I wonder what that is. I can sense some big presence. Or I can... I've got a big presence. A very obvious presence somewhere in the back over there. It's called the memory shop. Maybe I should go and check it out for a little bit. I can still look under cars without my watch. 